So with the fair few AI videos I've done in the past, I have had this tab with oh various NeoVim implementations of Olama and what all in my configs for a while. And I haven't quite messed around with it quite enough. So what I have done here is I believe I've got everything configured correctly. So what I can do now is I can go in and I need nvim app ID equals nvim olama. So what this is is a plugin for NeoVim that implements olama as a source of like to implement olama into your workflow. So if you run your own local olama server, it's going to default to that. And you're going to, I think you should be pretty good from there. <clears throat> so you're going to have different prompts and commands that you can take advantage of to run in your different buffers. So let's see, do, 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 default options. That's pretty good. Model, Mistral, that's okay. I can change that later. Let's see, sample prop that receives input and selection among others. Input label, Mistral display. Uh, let's see. So it's going to default to Mistral for our oh, model that it's going to use because that's a programming one. So all I have to do literally is I think I got that right. Yeah. Olama. Let me double check my command. Okay, I got it slightly bad, okay? NVIM app name. That's the one that I wanted. <clears throat> now it's going to install everything. It's got all of that set up. So now I can go to quit. Okay, see, space isn't working. So now what I can do is I can go, what was it? Olama... Olama serve. Yeah. Olama serve. And it should start up our model. <clears throat> I mean server. And then I can go Olama model. And it brings up the different models that I have for it. So I'm going to select Yee Coder for my model. And then let us go and select and edit our, ah, actually, Olama. Let's generate some code. Create a Python script that counts up to 10 and says hello to different people each time. Anything? Nothing at all? It's thinking. Okay. I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, do, do, do projects. Let's go through Python projects. Let's see. <clears throat> E projects and it's Python projects clack one dot pi colon 
Palama. Ask about code. Ah, oh, see, there it is. So you can ask it different questions and it will generate you different code based on a couple different things, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And then we still go through some of the same stuff otherwise. But anyway. I don't know. It seems like a lot more, oh, you know, stuff than needs to be done. Okay, we've got our add, subtract, divide, multiplies coming in, and then modulo is coming in. You've got your exceptions for zero division. That's pretty nifty. Okay, okay. So now let's do... Simplify code. Maybe. No. Well, let's have it simplify the code, see what it does. Maybe if it can generate it out and spit it out in the buffer, which I would assume it would, but. While that works over there, what we can do is also look at Let's go. <laughs> okay, this is what it came up with when simplifying the code, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to go to projects, Python projects, and we'll do mass downloader and downloader.py. And I want to see colon olama explain code. So it's going to read over the code and give us an explanation of what I wrote in the code. See how it does. Gonna actually give it a pause and then come back when it's done explaining. Okay, so it's broken down my thing. It talks about importing. Um, let's see. It talks about the main func main method defined to handle user input, initiate the download process if needed conditions are met. Let's see, it has the stuff about if there's no URL or directory path, the script help provides help on how to use it, and then like. Gives an error message if 
there's not a valid one. Let's see, explains the functions and structure. Downloading the retrieves all downloadable resources by parsing it with beautiful soup. And then downloads it one by one. Starts running with a check to see if it's being run directly or imported as a module. If it's not being imported, main function is called with all arguments excluding the first element. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's a pretty good one. So you can use Olama to explain to you code in NeoVim, which is actually really cool. So if you're one that is learning programming, having an AI companion to help you learn what code does can be somewhat helpful. Maybe you need to do like a couple different prompts to break it down even more, but it's still kind of a cool tool to have at your fingertips. And then when you are done, you can go Olama serve stop and it will stop the Olama server. So then it won't be running in the background anymore. I did create a separate config for this to test it out, so yeah. But you can implement it into your lazy NVIM config and it will download and install it automatically, which is pretty nifty and pretty cool. Yeah, that is one of like other applications, but this is a very basic rundown of using, I guess, Olam in your workflow for coding. Again, if you've got all kinds of different models downloaded like me then it's not going to be a problem and too much of a hassle you just gotta install the plugin it'll run the server for you stop the server for you switch to models it doesn't download the models just yet but that is i planned for i guess but yeah if you liked the content if you enjoyed it if you think i deserve it like comment subscribe leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.